What is up nerds, Crash here with another TF2 mapping quick tip. Today we're going to go over a handful of small tweaks that you can make to Hammer which can greatly improve your experience mapping for Team Fortress 2. First and foremost, and I'm totally a broken record with this one, but Abujum Snark's Mapper's Resource Pack. Just install it. Go. Do it now. Now we're going to go into Hammer and go to Tools, Options. In the first tab, Game Configurations, you can change your default point entity class to Prop Static. This way your entity button defaults to what should be your most commonly used entity, saving the time it would take for you to change it. Next in the General tab, I like to lower my autosave time to about 3 minutes or so, so when I do crash, I don't lose nearly as much progress as I otherwise would. I also like to crank up my undo levels a bit more. Note that both of these tweaks can decrease your performance, so keep that in mind if you have an older machine. In 2D views, I check default to 15 degree rotations, so everything I rotate snaps in increments, making quick 90 degree or 180 degree turns really easy. If I want to break out of this while I rotate, I just hold down shift. I also turn off display scroll bars, and if I want to move in the 2D views, I can use the arrow keys or more commonly zoom out and back in to where I want to go to with a scroll wheel. This gives you a little bit more space in your 2D viewports. And last in this tab, I prefer to check dotted grid, which just makes the 2D views look a bit less messy, but this one is personal preference. In 3D view, I crank up the back clipping plane, model render distance, and detail render distance. If you're annoyed by your props turning into big yellow boxes when you're too far away, here's your culprit. However, this is another thing that can decrease your performance, so adjust with caution. You also have the option here of tweaking your movement speed when flying around in the 3D view, but personally I leave it to default and when I want to move fast I zoom in with my scroll wheel. Leaving the options, go to View, Screen Elements, and deselect your manifest bar as it's not something you'll ever use in TF2 and it takes up a huge chunk of screen real estate space. So that's it for today's quick tip. If you learned something, I'd appreciate a like and subscribe if you aren't already. Let me know in the comments section below if you have any other tweaks that you like to do in Hammer for your own personal ease of use, and maybe I can learn something as well. 